Greetings, mates. It's Mickey, the tamer of the Outback. Now, during these harsh economic times, I've decided to expand my horizons of documentary filmmaking. So I've brought you here to the dwelling of something so dangerous and so mythical, no one has ever dared go close. It's the home of an acoustic guitar owner. Let's go in further and see what we can find out. Oh, better get on the ground now. Since we don't want him to see us. Crocky, there he is. Shh, we don't want to spook him. Chris, what you got there, buddy? It seems that he's mistaken us for his friend, Chris. This is good. It means we've earned his trust and we can get a little closer to see what we can find out. You want to film me restringing my guitar? It seems as though he's begun a process known as restringing a guitar. Let's just hang back and watch this miracle of life unfold. Oh, dude, you can watch. Just don't touch anything, okay? The first step when restringing a guitar is to loosen the tuning knob which is located on the headstock. When restringing a guitar, it is best to replace one string at a time so you can use the tension of the other five strings to assist you in the process. Once you have loosened the knob, you will be able to uncoil the string from the headstock. The second step when restringing a guitar is to remove the pin which connects the string to the bridge. For this, you will need a peg winder. Grasp firmly onto the head of the pin with the peg winder, then gently pull the pin out. The third step when restringing a guitar is to insert the ball end of the new string into the bridge. Take the detached pin and push it over the string and into the hole. Make sure you align the carved part of the pin with the string. Push the pin firmly into the bridge, then lightly pull on the string to ensure that the pin is holding it in place. If the pin pops out, just try this step again. The fourth step when restringing a guitar is to attach the other end of the string to the tuner knob, which is located on the headstock. With your fingers, crimp the end of the string so it forms a 90 degree angle, then point it to the side, which has the tuner knob. Pull the string just enough so that there appears to be no visible slack on it. Insert the end of the string through the hole in the tuner knob, then gently twist the tuner knob in a counterclockwise position. The fifth and final step when restringing a guitar is to tune the guitar. For this, you will need a tuner. Pluck the string which you have replaced with your finger or a guitar pick. Take notice of the guitar tuner to see how much tension is required to reach the string's desired note. Turn the tuner knob counterclockwise as many times which are needed to arrive at the correct note. You will notice the increased tension on the string as you continue to turn the knob. Well, it seems as though the guitar has been restrung and the circle of life is complete. Until next time, this is Mick saying, have a good day, mates. Dude, you're such a...